Okay, so for today's video, I'm super excited to be doing another collab with Hana Coco. And they sent me a box with these beautiful press-on nails. So they said I could pick a cell and I picked this one. This is the Pearl Dream. And they just added the Aurora with it. And they're so beautiful. So I, th I'm excited because I've never tried press-on nails for like, I don't know, since I was a teenager. And I know press on nails have come a long, long way from then. Cause I have a friend who like always has like amazing nails, like always like super trendy and long and beautiful. Um, but she lives in LA and she was telling me during COVID, her stylist that she goes to would send her packs of press on nails. Like she would hand paint them and then send them to her because you know, all the nail salons were shut down. So. This is like a thing now, like a lot of, I guess people are doing like pre-made, even like handmade press on nails and the glue is supposedly lasts a super long time. It doesn't damage your nails. And yeah, I've never tried it yet just because I'm such a short nail kind of girl that, you know, I don't do like long nails except for like special occasions. But since they sent this to me, I am like so, excited to try and I have to show so what came in the box at first I'll can the nails and these are size small so the thing with press on nails is you do have to pick your size so they have um, on Hanakoko at least they have extra small to large and they have a, a really nice guide on how you measure your nails in millimeters so it's really exact so you pretty much get a tape measure and then measure your nail and then um yeah it has the chart so you pick your size and so the nails come in there they sent a cute little claw clip this is like so cute then there's two sets of the glue a prep pad and the glue stick or sorry the glue stickers i have to look at the directions because in the directions, well, I also came with directions. But yeah, it has the glue stickers. This must be extra glue. I guess if you're, if you need extra glue, I don't know. I'm used to seeing like this kind of glue, like when you buy like them from the drugstore and stuff, you just put it on there like a drop and then push it on there. And yeah, my nails are really dry looking because I, I had the, I actually tried on a Timu sticker, nail sticker from Timu. This was like 71 cents and I like them. They only come with these amounts, but you know, since I cut it in half, it, it's still, I only use five. But yeah, I think the glue is, I don't know. Okay, it actually lasted about two weeks. So that was really good. That's longer than I thought, but I peeled it off and didn't use the remover. So like, yeah probably should always use the remover and not peel them off late at night. <laughs> anyway, so I cut my nails. I, you know, did all the things. This is really important. I guess I should, you know, emphasize that, but you have to like push down your cuticles and, you know, trim up your cuticles if you need to. And I always buff them out with like this kind of buffer not a super smooth buffer because I don't want it to be like so smooth. Everything's going to just slip off like either the sticker or the glue. You want to give your nails like a little bit of something to hold on to. So they're not shiny. They're very matte. They're not rough, but not super smooth either. And then I wash my hands. And so I find when I wash my hands, the cuticles kind of go back to where they were. So now we're ready. So I'm just gonna take one of these kits and I think I'm gonna do the Aurora just because it's my first time and I wanna try it out first. And also I, my son's in a baseball tournament this weekend and I might have to like help practice. So yeah, I don't wanna use anything that's like sticking out for this weekend. And this one is just so pretty. I like, I'm scared to use it. I'm like, it's so nice. Like, 
I don't know if you guys can see, but it's so beautiful. I don't know how they made it so that it's like the gradient changes, but they're hand painted. But yeah, it is so nice. Okay, I need to stop. And this one is like so beautiful too. I love the glitter in it. And it's like blue to like dark blue. And they look really tiny, right? <laughs> like when I first opened it, I was like, is that too small? But actually, I mean, I did do the whole measurement thing and they fit perfectly. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, my nails are just small. And also, so like, if you look at this one, it's a little more domed than my nail, but when you stick it on, you just press it down a little and it actually is like flexible. It also says in the directions, if it's too domed and you need it to fit, you can hit it with the hairdryer and it'll soften it up and mold. But yeah, you see, they all fit. So, so nice. I'm going to have to like get used to having nails this long. I'm going to be like touching everything like that. <laughs> I think the only times I have long nails are when we go like to Vegas or something. So yeah, I mean, that's the first step. I think um, try them on, right? And then in or on the website, it says if you need anything adjusted, they will work with you to get another like if you just need like say one finger right i think they'll like send you a new one so that is really amazing okay so first step will be to alcohol wipe your nails i've been using a purple shampoo and i notice it kind of gets in like the side of my nail and makes it darker i don't know maybe because i was using the nail stickers and it got under there I'm not sure, but it's a little stained purple on the edges. I find if I use the purple shampoo every single night, it works a lot better than if I just use it once in a while. Once in a while. So I'm going to let that dry and then it's in two sets. So I guess I can, so you have to find the sticker that fits your nail and you want it to be pretty stuck on there, right? So you want the one that really fits. I wonder if you should like cut it out. I only say that because then you can peel off the bottom backing and then keep the flexible cellophane one on top so you can press it on really well. So it also says to keep it one millimeter from the cuticle and then press it on really good. Also, my nail is shorter than the glue, so maybe it's better to just like cut it off so I don't have like a sticky mess to work with. Oh, so there's two layers. Good to know. So you don't actually have to cut it out. There's an extra layer to protect the adhesive. Now you're going at a 45 degree angle all the way at the cuticle and then push down. So yeah, that really feels like it's on there. Like this would be the longest I've ever had my nails, I think. Usually when I do gel, it's not this long. So this will get take some getting used to. I wonder if I should do like the thumbs first and then, okay, so there's like a little tab. So one millimeter away from the cuticle. Press it on really good. See, I have like the extra glue on the top if you can see it goes past my natural nail I think I want to cut that off because otherwise it'll just like 
get sticky and collect weird things, right? So 45 degree, close to your cuticle, and then press down. I wonder if I should start <laughs> with my pinky. Maybe I should use the least used fingers first, or get these on the least used fingers first. So yeah, I think cutting out the extra glue is a really good idea. Just so it will be really hard to take it out after you put your nail on. And then you'll probably just get like dirt or stuff stuck onto the glue. So trimming it close to your nail is probably a good idea. So sorry for all the fast forwarding, but I don't think you guys want to watch me struggle on trying to take off the little plastic cellophane papers. <laughs> Seriously, I don't know how I'm going to like do things. I'm just so not used to it. Like I always admire other people's nails when they have like nice long nails. I just can't for myself. I do think it was a good idea though to start doing your less dominant fingers first. Like I probably shouldn't have started with the thumb. Oh my gosh, so sticky. Okay. Oh no. Okay, if that happens, I think you need a new one. Luckily they have a lot of mid-sized ones. Or if you needed, you could cut one of these out. But the glue stickers are really squishy, so that's good. It kind of forms to your nail, like underneath. Because I think like, you know, in the Lee Press-On days, the stickers were like really flat. So it was like really just having a sticker underneath the nail. And so the places where it would have like an air pocket, it just wouldn't be sticky there. So they used to come off really easily. I wonder if the nail glue is just another option. Because I think when my friend told me um, when she does it, she uses just nail glue. She doesn't use stickers. That actually might be easier too because, I mean, once you get used to trying to take off this cellophane sticker, it'll be easier, but I'm just like not good at it. Like I might need a tweezer. I feel like I missed right there. Maybe because I used a smaller one because I ruined one. So let's try putting some nail glue. I just want to try it. So right there where there's not glue, I'm just going to put a tiny, tiny dab. 
the thing with nail glue is you it's like super glue less is more or oh, you have to cut the end I need a regular scissors Maybe I didn't cut deep enough. I was gonna use some that came out. Okay, I got them all on. Finally, I think if you use nail glue, like if you've done this before, please let me know in the comments. Is it faster to just use the nail glue? Because I feel like it would have been super fast if I just like put a few dots and then I pressed it on versus messing with the stickers. I don't know. Let me know. So yeah, they feel very secure though. I kind of do like having that glue bed underneath i'm like whose hands are those i don't even know i feel like a different person so i think just for like just to see i will hit it with the heat because i guess i could like have it it'll be a little more flexible like not so you know like curved this is like a, an out there color for me but i don't know i kind of like it I think like this one is more my style or color. I'm more neutral, but this is fun. I don't know. Okay, let me go get the hair dryer. So yeah, this is the instructions. Um, we did all this, but yeah, it says, if it feels too curvy or hard, you can use a blow dryer. Unfortunately, I don't have a regular blow dryer. I only have like this Dyson, the air wrap one. And uh, it doesn't get that hot, which I guess is good. I mean, I don't want super hot. So another tip is to not get in water for a few hours after first application. I think that's probably huge. So yeah, just, I mean, don't not wash your hands, but you know, just try not to get it all up in there for a few hours. I was going to work out after this. Hopefully that's okay. Okay. And then to remove, use one of the orange sticks that I came with and gently peel up or you can soak in warm water. So yeah, should be pretty easy. I love that you can just soak it. I love that you don't have to like remove the gel, like soak the gel and then scrape it off with, yeah, I hate that part of the process. So yeah, I think these are really easy. Actually, I'm getting used to it already. It feels normal. It just took it like five minutes. I'm going to try and hit it with the blow dryer. I'm going to fast forward this part because it's so loud, but yeah, we'll see what happens. So I blow dried it and now I'm just going to like, I guess when it's a little softer, I'm just pressing it on a little bit more. I don't feel it like moving or anything, but maybe it got softer. I'll do the other hand. So the Dyson does get hot. <laughs> At least for blow drying your hands. But yeah, okay, so I will, I guess, either post on Instagram or in the description of this video how long they last for me and if I have any additional thoughts on it. Um, I don't know if I have a code. I have to check, double check on that. But if I do, I'll put it in the bottom. Um, but also, if you go to their website, I would just get on their mailing list because they always have sales. Like, I think they just had like 20% off for Mother's Day. Or right now, I think if you buy two press-ons, you get one free. And the prices for the press-ons range from, sometimes they're on sale and it could be like 12 or $13. And I think these were 13. I think this Pearl Dream, so this is Aurora. This is Pearl Dream, this is $24.99. But they have like some masterpiece series where it's like actual like it looks like art and i think those could be like 40 something i forgot how much like my friend said she, her stylist charges but she goes to like a really i guess fancy one in la i forgot what she said but it wasn't like cheap you know 
So yeah, I think this is probably comparable and like, at least you can do this at home. I really like that. But yeah, I will leave any comments in the description. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. So it's been about an hour since I put these on and I have to say I could be a convert to press on nails. Like this is what they look like in natural light and it's so pretty. Like you can see like the shine and the glitter. Um, I think I would, if I could find one that's like a little bit shorter, I'm just amazed. It was so easy. And say you use the glue versus the stickers. So easy and fast. And you don't have to UV lamp cure anything. And if it removes the exact same way as, you know, the, the stickers, this is pretty awesome. I don't know. What do you guys think? And I kind of got used to it being long. I feel like a totally different person though. <laughs> I'm like, you know, picking everything up nicely. <laughs> But yeah, if, it, if they were a little shorter, they would be perfect for me. But I really, I'm enjoying it and I'm interested to try more. So yeah, let me know what you think.